You know, Fox News has a uh, guy, some guy named Leland Vittert, who's always on the radio, running his mouth, uh, criticizing Trump. And I just want to, I just want to show you a, a perfect example of how these news yakety yak news people are such mental lightweights. They talk gibberish that doesn't make any sense and they constantly contradict themselves 99.9% of the time they have no idea what they're talking about just listen here's a perfect example listen to this guy okay on the radio today on the state of the economy it was a democrat james carville who said it's the economy stupid and then helped lead bill clinton to his 1992 victory we bring in president of cult bomb capital management fox news contributor gary k himself good to see you my friend uh, as always you know if you would have thought about the way the economy was going at this time in the 92 presidential cycle you would have said hw bush wins with a walk-off grand slam then bill clinton comes in and wins is there a soft underbelly to the economy that President Trump needs to be worried about and that the Democrats can exploit? Oh, uh, I think most definitely. And I think they have to be careful and they have to look over their shoulder. A, uh, massive debt and massive deficits that you never know uh, when they're going to hit. Uh, B, you now have interest rates sinking like a stone, I think indicating uh, that the economy is decelerating right now. And the big one right now that we're talking about 24-7 uh, is these tariffs that we keep being told by the White House it's going to be paid by China and Mexico, but we all know they're going to be paid by the American businesses who's going to have to raise prices and hit the consumer also. So uh, they better be careful about which way they go with this. This is how Peter Navarro was trying to spin things from the White House North Lawn yesterday about the tariffs and how the bottom fell out of the market over the past few weeks because of the China trade concerns, the interest rates, and now the Mexico tariffs. All right, now you hear what he said right there? He just said, he just out of his own mouth said that... Uh, He's going to quote Peter Navarro responding to, uh, or trying to uh, explain away how the but the bottom of the market fell out. He said the market, uh, the, the, the market's bottom fell out. That was his exact words. The market's bottom fell out. Now, keep listening to Mr. Genius Leland Vitter, the guy who runs his mouth all the time against Trump. He just said the market's bottom fell out over the past several weeks. Keep listening. Mr. Genius. Look at what we're trying to do. This is actually a brilliant move by the president to get Mexico's attention, to get them to help us. Uh, shockingly, Wall Street did not exactly buy that. Uh, Wall Street is about earnings and interest rates, and if Wall Street deems earnings are going to head south, uh, the market's going to take a hit. And I will promise you, if you put uh, tariffs on $380 billion a year on product from Mexico, uh, that is going to hurt corporate earnings. It is going to hurt the consumer, which will hurt the economy, which will indeed hurt markets. And then you enter uh, what we call a little bit of a vicious cycle. So uh, I think Mr. Navarro better be listening up uh, and maybe Google the words who pays for tariffs and what are the repercussions for tariffs. Uh, yeah, that, was, that, that did not go over very well when he uh, said that. Uh, question, though, on the market. Well, Dow was only down a couple of hundred. This wasn't the bottom falls out of the Dow like we've seen when fears of Chinese trade wars, etc. All right, did you just hear what he just said? He just, in his last statement, he just said that the, bo the bottom of the market had fallen out in the last couple of weeks. And in his very next statement, he just says the Dow only dropped a little bit. It's not like the bottom of the market fell out. This guy cannot make two statements in a row without completely and utterly contradicting himself. This is the kind of idiots on talk on the on the news cable news programs that Trump has to deal with. This these freaking morons. Not only do they not know anything and not have any kind of credentials to be talking about any of these issues, they can't even keep their their, their statements, uh, you know, they can't even keep their statements from contradicting each other. One statement to the very next statement. The guy makes two statements that are directly contradictory. These news people should just shut the hell up and let President Trump keep doing what he's doing, which is solving the country's problems and making America great. He's doing a fantastic job. If they would just shut the hell up 
and let him do his job, it's all going to work out. That's all, folks. Keep making America great.